I don't think I agree that what I was saying was from a third person perspective. Okay. When, when I say, when I look in the mirror, I see myself and I see an animal and it appears to me that I am an animal. That seems to me, uh, well, I've just put it in the first person. Yeah. Uh, of course, I can say it for other people, but uh, 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 it, I mean, I'm, I'm not entirely clear about, this, about, about where the distinction lies between first person and third person perspectives. Uh, but leaving that aside, I suppose the, the Cartesian argument that I was, or that you were alluding to is, 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 is something like this. When you look within yourself, uh, the appearance is that you are not an animal, but rather something with no parts. Right? So, 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 so I appear to myself through the senses to be an animal, but I appear to myself in introspection to be something other than an animal. So the, the appearances are equivocal. Right? The one appearance uh, favors our being animals, and the other appearance favors our not being animals. Uh, it's always seemed to me, actually, that this argument has no force whatsoever, but, uh, I, and I'm often surprised that some philosophers do take it seriously, so that suggests that I was, I was too quick and dogmatic with it. Uh, as I see it, the thought is, well, here's what I would say about it. Uh, if you close your eyes and block up your ears and, and ignore all information from the senses and look around, so to speak, <laughs> uh, 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 try to examine yourself, what do you see? What, how, how do you appear to yourself? All right. Now, uh, uh, Descartes rightly points out, I suppose, that you don't perceive in introspection any parts of yourself. Okay. You see, uh, uh, you are aware that you are, are, are thinking and that you have certain mental properties and, 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 and experiences and, 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 and beliefs and, uh, and so on. Uh, though those, those things are not parts of you any more than your movements are parts of you. Uh, so you don't perceive any parts of you by introspection. Uh, but I don't think you perceive a lack of parts by introspection either. I mean, I suppose whether that's the case depends on what you would see in introspection if you had parts. Suppose you were a biological organism with lots of parts. How would you appear to yourself in introspection in that case? Uh, I think uh, uh, Descartes gives no reason to suppose that, th that the appearance would be any different. And if that's the case, then it seems that it, uh, uh, the argument has no force at all.